Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'll show you a simple way how you can easily integrate Airtable with SharePoint. So what you want to do is pretty straightforward. Click on the link down below in the description. When you're going to be in a click on the link down in the description, you're going to get on right now for sign up for make.com. Make.com is an amazing tool that is going to help us integrate and also uh, connect various applications. So what I'm going to do is just be in here in scenarios. When you're going to log into your account, go to the right, create new scenario. Then click plus here. And then in a search, you want to write Airtable. And I'm going to choose Airtable. And then you're going to choose like what is going to happen with Airtable. So let's say when I'm going to create a record. Then you have to add a connection to your account. So I already connected my account in a uh, like make.com, but to find an Epic key that you will need to integrate and connect to make.com, you need to go to top right to your account, then account here on our table, and then you're gonna have it right here, the, the key here. And now when you got it, and when you will succeed with it, then you can simply choose here the base, and also the table right and then you're gonna have the name subtask id and everything so now i'm going to click ok and plus here uh, add another module and in search i'm going to write sharepoint microsoft sharepoint online and now when i'm going to create an item in airtable what needs to happen in sharepoint let's say create an item and again you're going to choose account here so you would add an account right here and when you got it, and when you will connect it, you can also change on the bottom the schedule settings, and you can uh, like test the run, like how often it's going to run, um, and test it out so that it will be like okay if it's actually working. And then when you would have it, you would click just save here and save anyway, and then you're gonna have the scenarios here where you would find all those scenarios. My recommendation is definitely, guys, you can go to templates. And then right here, let's like SharePoint. And you can find all those integrations that you can do here. So that's pretty much, guys. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. And have a great day and goodbye. See ya.